just uh, kind of you know moving up to being on that first team basically and being sort of the older guy in the safety court? Uh, I mean, I always got reps ever since I was a freshman, so I knew what it was like to play on the SC level. But, you know, being the older guy now is pretty important to me. I like to take pride in being the leader of the back end and the group. And, you know, Cam Sutton and I do what we can to help the young guys learn as best as they can. How are you trying to do that? What, what's kind of, what have you learned from Randolph and McNeil about how to be that guy and how have you tried to put that into action? Just sit down with the young guys and watch as much film as possible. Make sure that we are communicating back and forth, and if they don't know something, they'll come to me and ask. You know, when I was a younger guy, I went to the older guys, and I didn't know anything, and they helped me out the most. And so now that I'm a veteran, you know, I look to these guys for, you know, for them to be an example. How much tougher are Juwan Jennings and Preston Williams in, in coverage for you guys this year compared to last year? They've improved tremendously. They put in the work, and when you put in the work, you get the results, and that's what they've done. They've worked hard every day, and. You know, they push each other, and we push each other. And when you do that every day, you, you both get better. So that's what they've been doing. What have been your impressions of Rashawn Galvin now that he's worked with you guys back at safety something? He loves it back there. All he wants to do is play ball. You know, he see ball, find ball. So he has a lot of energy, and we call him the Energizer Bunny. He just likes to bounce around and get to the ball. Uh, you know, I'm sitting down with him, watching a lot of film, and just making sure he understands the safety aspects of his defense. That hit he laid on Lacey today during your team stuff. Have you guys seen a lot of that during camp? Uh, I didn't. I didn't see the hit, but I'm sure it was pretty good. Um, How tough was last year for him? Because he was so ready. He kind of waited his turn his freshman year, and he was kind of ready to maybe break out. As and then he got hurt. How tough was it for him last year sitting out? It was really tough. He's actually my roommate. So when we got the news, Derek and I made sure that we took care of him. He took it pretty hard. So I let him know that he got the red shirt and sit back and watch the entire season. And I said, you know. Make sure you learn from this experience, and when you get back next year, let's get it rock and rolling. So now I'm glad he's back there with me. For you, what did you learn from, from Brian and Daryl? Those guys have played so much in this league and you know, so much experience and so much production. What did you take from them that they moved on? Just to watch film and go as hard as you can and make sure that the guys under you are looking up to you as an example. You know, I looked up to both those guys as an, as an example. Now that I'm a veteran, you know, I hope that the young guys do the same with me. Okay, what do you see from Jason Bruce as he transitions into his body and how he's become a match right now? He's really athletic. He's also strong and likes to be physical. And so that's what you want in the tight end. So, you know, it's a gradual process for him, but every day he's getting better and he's learning, listening to his coaches and doing as they ask. So he's working hard and, and doing what he's supposed to do. What does Micah bring to the table moving back to safety that you've seen so far? He's really smart. He picks up on things really easily. And with, when you need him for something, he'll listen and, and do what you ask. And he's also very athletic, uh, smooth in the hips. and. He gets from point A to point B really quickly, so he's a great athlete, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do at safety. What have you tried to improve? Going to ask, but, um, just Coach Shoup and, and the transition to his defense. What, what are some of the differences that you know? What are some of the things that stick out to you about his system? Not, not much. I mean, he, he wants basically you know, team, passion, and togetherness. That's what he strives about, you know, forcing turnovers. Basically what every defense wants. He wants a championship defense. That's what he wants to bring to the table, and that's what we're working for. In terms of terminology, we're basically keeping everything the same. He's keeping it pretty easy for us. So, you know, he's most likely transitioning from our defense versus transitioning from the Do you feel it's a little more aggressive? You talk, everybody talks about wanting to force more turnovers. Does that mean playing more aggressive? I, I would say so, whatever it takes. I mean, whatever he tells us to do, that's what we're going to do. But he likes being very aggressive, getting after the quarterback, getting after the running back, and stopping the run. So that's what we're going to try to do. And, you know, bring a lot of pressure. Did he 